Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel or website for another card video. Today I'm stepping away from the traditional orange, gold, brown colors we so often associate with fall and instead I'm sharing a few different versions of a farmhouse fall themed card featuring Concord and Knights, Friendship Farm stamps and dies, along with a few other products that will be linked below and you can find them listed on my website as well. Here's a quick look at the Friendship Farm stamps and dies. I'll be using the Hey There Pumpkin Friendship Farms and Handpicked Sentiments along with the pumpkin stamp. Here's a look at the coordinating dies and it comes with this large label die. I'm using my Mind's Eye Gingham Farm paper pad to die cut the pumpkin layers, the stem, and leaf from the Friendship Farms coordinating dies. I've picked a few patterns from the paper pad. Honestly, I picked these because I have scraps and want to use them. I used a dark pattern for the bottom and top layer of the pumpkin with a light pattern for the middle layer. Once I have all the layers cut, I put them together using 3D mounting foam and Gina K Connect glue. Here's the pumpkin assembled. And I have to say I love the way it turned out. So to save a little time, I die cut a piece of 80 pound card stock using the big label die that comes with this set and place it in my Misty. I'm temporarily placing the pumpkin so I can determine where I want to stamp my sentiments. Now using Distress Oxide ink in the color Bundle Sage, I stamp Hey There and Pumpkin. Position and stamp the Friendship Farms and Handpick Sentiments along with the heart using Versifying Onyx Black ink. Next, we're going to pick a pattern from the paper pad and cut it to four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches, add adhesive and adhere it to the front of our card base. I'm gonna add Gina K Connect Glue to the back of the pumpkin and adhere it to the label. Add 3D mounting foam to the back of the label and center on the front of the card. So to finish this card, I add four black enamel dots to the corners of the labels. So for the next card, I lay a piece of 80 pound card stock into my Misty that I die cut using the label die. And I'm going to stamp the pumpkin using Distress Ink in the color Bundled Sage and the stem using Distress Ink in the color Gathered Twigs. Using the same Distress Inks to stamp the sentiments. So I'll stamp the heart using Versifying Onyx Black Ink. I'm using Concord and Ninth Woven Plaid Stamp to create a background directly on my card base. I'm adding Distress Ink in the colored Bundled Sage to the stamp. And next I lay the card base on the stamp front side down, then run my fingers over it. And don't worry if you miss an area or the edges aren't perfect, it adds a nice distressed look to this card. Now I'm going to add 3D mounting foam to the back of the label and center on the card base. So for the last card, I'm using Concord and Ninth Gingham Stamp along with the Polka Dot Turnabout Stamp to create my own pattern papers. Lay Versifying Onyx Black ink on the Gingham Stamp, then lay a piece of cardstock on it and run my fingers over it. Or you can just flip a Distress ink pad over and use that applying light pressure while sliding it across your paper. <laughs> You want to repeat this process using Distress Ink in the color Bundled Sage and the Polka Dot Turnabout Stamp. So die cut the bottom and top layer of the pumpkin using the Gingham Stamped pa Pattern Paper and die cut the middle layer using the bundle Bundled Sage Polka Dots Pattern. Die cut the stem using Craft Cardstock and I want to do the leaf with a sage color and I don't have sage cardstock so I just use my ink pad color a little area of cardstock with it and then use that to die cut my leaf. I'm going to once again use 3D mounting foam and Gina K connect glue to assemble the layers of the pumpkin. So I decided I wanted to create a gatefold card with this one and I want to stamp the front of the gatefold to match the polka dot pattern on the pumpkin. So I add Distress Ink in the color Bundled Sage to the polka dot stamp, lay the gatefold card on the stamp and run my fingers over it 
or just flip the Distress Ink Pad upside down and slide it across the card. So I run the label die and craft cardstock through my die cut machine, then place it in my Misty. I position the sentiment Hey There Pumpkin and stamp it using VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I'm going to add 3D mounting foam to the back of the die cut label and add to the right gate of the card. Using Gina K Connect Glue, once again, I'm going to adhere the pumpkin to the craft label. Okay, so that's the last card. So I've shared three different ways to create these fun farmhouse fall themed cards, and I do believe that's another wrap. So I hope you enjoyed joining me and that you were inspired to step out of the box and try something different today. I want to encourage you to leave any comments or suggestions below, and I do hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content to my channel. Also, be sure to subscribe to my website where you can find videos and blog posts all in one spot. As always, know I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and until next time, keep crafting.